There was more talk in Augusta today about how to help those with mental illness. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Yacono. And I'm Samantha York and for Amanda Hill. It centered on a waiver for Institutions for Mental Disease, or an IMD waiver, which allows states to get Medicaid funding to care for patients with mental health and substance use disorders. Maine currently gets that waiver for substance use, but not for mental health. But a bill in the legislature right now is looking to change that by requiring Maine's Department of Health and Human Services services to apply for that mental health waiver. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry explains. We need to stop being reactive and start being proactive. Yesha Preventure never, never thought she would be standing in front of lawmakers testifying on a mental health bill. But when the father of her children, Justin Butterfield, allegedly killed his brother Gabriel Damore on Thanksgiving Day, everything changed. Me doing this work and, and speaking out and telling my story is also my healing process. He was given the right to leave. Now she's telling her story to better help other families, testifying in favor of LD 445, which would direct the Maine Department of Health and Human Services to apply for a waiver from the federal government that would better reimburse mental health facilities that treat people who are on Medicaid. I'm hoping the same can happen in Maine that's happened already in Vermont and uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, that they, they got the IMD waiver and they used it to strengthen their community support services. At Friday's public hearing, the room seemed to be split pretty much down the middle, with a number of people also testifying against the bill. One of them, Joe Bennett, said peer respite is a better way to use federal money than mental health hospitals. It's better to have someone go to a peer respite, eat good food, have the difficult conversations in a safe place, not worried about getting blue papered and humiliated and their rights taken away. And Simone Mallon from the Consumer Council of Maine also supports uh, peer respite and opposes this IMD waiver bill. But she says she believes there could be compromises on this bill. I think everybody's coming at this from the same intent of wanting to help people. While the parties differ on how to best support people with severe mental illness, their goal is the same, to get them the help they need. For Preventure, she says it would have been something that could have changed the lives of her loved ones. I believe this would have saved both Justin and his brother. The Health and Human Services Committee will take all of this testimony and other information provided to them to the work session where they can possibly come up with amendments and compromises before it goes to a full legislature vote. In Augusta, Jackie Mundry, News Center, Maine. A representative from DHHS did not testify at that public hearing. We asked DHHS for comment on the bill. A spokesperson says the department has not taken a position on it.